Hi, I'm the Tax Geek, and here are more of your taxes, oversimplified. In this video, we're going to look at how your unemployment benefits are taxed. For federal purposes, your unemployment benefits are fully taxed. However, for 2020, and only 2020, up to $10,200 of unemployment benefits per spouse was exempt from tax for taxpayers with adjusted gross incomes below $150,000. Your unemployment benefits are entered on Line 7 of Schedule 1. If you're filing a 2020 return, your benefits are entered on Line 7 of Schedule 1, and the exempt amount is entered as a negative amount on Line 8 of Schedule 1. Federal taxation of unemployment benefits is pretty straightforward, but what about the various states? Most states follow the federal lead and tax unemployment benefits fully, but some states fully exempt unemployment benefits from tax, some tax them partially, Others have special rules enacted for 2020 and 2021, exempting part or all unemployment benefits from taxation, and some states have no state income tax at all. So let's take a look at the various states in the District of Columbia and see how each state taxes unemployment benefits. We'll start with the states that have no income tax at all. Those states are Alaska, Florida, New Hampshire, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, Washington, and Wyoming. A couple of these states, notably New Hampshire and Tennessee, tax certain types of investment income, but there is no general income tax for these states. Next, we have the list of states that fully exempt unemployment benefits. These states are Alabama, California, the District of Columbia, where benefits are newly exempt starting in 2021, Montana, until 2024 when they become taxable, Nevada, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, and Virginia. Now for the states that fully tax unemployment compensation, or conform to federal law, which is pretty much the same thing. These states are Arizona, Colorado, Connecticut, Georgia, Hawaii, Idaho, Illinois, Iowa, Kansas, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maine, Michigan, Minnesota, Mississippi, Missouri, Nebraska, New Mexico, New York, North Carolina, North Dakota, Ohio, Oklahoma, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Utah, Vermont, and West Virginia. Then we have the states that under certain circumstances exempt some or all unemployment benefits from taxation. Three states fall into this category. Indiana and Wisconsin, both of which exempt unemployment benefits for those with incomes under $12,000 if single or $18,000 if married filing jointly, and taxes 50% of the benefits of those with higher incomes. Oregon, which also fully taxes benefits, but doesn't tax benefits that are the result of working on a federally recognized Indian reservation. And finally, here are the states which have enacted temporary tax exemptions for unemployment compensation as a response to the coronavirus pandemic. Both Arkansas and Delaware, which normally tax unemployment benefits, have exempted them from taxation for 2020 and 2021. Maryland usually fully taxes unemployment benefits, but for 2020 and 2021 have exempted them from taxation for single taxpayers with less than $75,000 in income and married and had household filers with less than $100,000 in income. And lastly, Massachusetts, which fully taxes benefits, but has allowed for an exemption for 2020 and 2021 of up to $10,200 in benefits per spouse for families with incomes less than 200% of the federal poverty line. And that's a quick rundown of how the federal and state governments tax unemployment. Of course, additional information and resources can be found in the video description. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Please share this video with anyone who would find it useful. You can direct any questions, comments, or suggestions to the comments space below, or email me at taxesoversimplified at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at TaxGeekUSA. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon with more of your taxes oversimplified.